Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be talking about how we can read a CSV file without headers and with header. So we have a scenario where we need to, uh, you know, we need to copy the CSV file from one location and put it into the different location using a packet format or in a CSV format itself. But there is a catch that some files may have may have the headers but some files may not have the headers so we have to you know uh, create the pipeline in order to achieve the same same kind of files so uh, if i talk about uh, more then you know you can see over here that we in this uh, container we have uh, this data underscore file underscore one dot csv and if i just you know try to uh, try to edit it then you can see then you can see you we do not have head, header in it right but if i just go back to my container and if i choose this data underscore file dot csv which is having the header actually now user can now uh, the source team can give the file same file you know with like maybe some sometime they will give in a in header or sometime they will not give give with the header so what actually actually happen is that happening is that suppose I have one dot CSV file and it is having ID name and age. So this schema is fixed. So this file having the same uh, have, have, having the same uh, you know headers and let's say there is one something some uh, data in it. Okay, one two three. Cool. And some some different day day they give the same file. Okay, they give the same file but without header like this but we know that for this uh, one dot csv file we will be having this header we will be heading this uh, header okay and we need to just copy copy this file as it is as it is we need to add it and put it in some different location now how we can do it see if we simply create a pipeline let's say this is my uh, this is my pipeline okay if I simply create a pipeline then what will happen if I choose if I choose their uh, first row as a header okay then if I receive this one one dot csv with headers then the data will copy properly okay okay but if suppose suppose we receive the file without header without header then what will happen the data may be maxed up mess up okay and when you creating you know when you creating when you reading the file using a database or some other environment or other other thing then you may face a issue so we need to create the create a pipeline in order to achieve the same goal so let's see how we can do that so i quickly quickly go to my uh my uh, my adf cool and here what i'll do i'll just create one new pipeline so let me create it so this is my uh, like i added it and here what i'll do first i will try to read the schema okay read the schema of the given file so how we can do that how we can do that do, do, do how we can do that with the, we can do with the help of get metadata activity so i'll just drag it over here and here i have to choose the data set so i'll just choose choose this data set i already created so this is pointing to azure data lake so if I just you know uh, edit it, then you can see uh, this is pointing to my this uh, source, and that's it. Cool. So just cancel it as of now. Everything seems correct. Like I created this uh, uh, these parameters. Like if you can see, go here. This is the container name, folder name, file name, and yeah, all these things. Okay. And if I go down, then you can see we have this option first row as header, right? So if I if I just Tick this if so now see for this case I need to tick this to you know to actually find out whether the first row as a header or not so I need to tick it but if I create a copy activity but I will if I create a copy activity in that I I may not want to tick this uh, option right so as of now like what I am doing I am just you know ticking it and and then go to here okay in the field list I can I can add another fields like you know I want to I want to take I want to see the structures of data so I'll just uh, select this and here I need to pass some well uh, some uh, uh, some you know data so my source con the container name is source 
folder name is data i believe and file name is data underscore file so which is having the header i am passing this file as of now okay what i'll do also i'll just pass it here the file name and instead to passing in this data set here i will pass the parameter okay and now i will try to debug it so here i need to pass the uh, file name and just click on ok button then we'll see what's happening now refresh it it will not take much time and if i go to this output option then you can see that the structure seems like this name is i like the column name is id type is string name is name and third third uh, third column is age which is in a string format cool correct now this is also i shown you correct now since i told you that i told you that the structure of this given file will be same okay i mean you know at the first uh, first column id will always be there if if it has some headers so what i can do i'll store this value into some variable so i'll just choose here set variable things cool just attach to this go to variable create a new variable let's say uh to do, do, do structure something like this structure cool and go to here choose the structure and in the value section what i'll do i'll quickly go down here and choose this thing right now if i go if i cancel it uh, 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 go to output see let's understand how we can get this name see this is structure it it is a structure so we what we are asking them that you know give return me this sorry if i expand this so i am saying return me this value cool this is what this is a kind of array correct array think like one minute can i write it down here no i i cannot okay so think like this is the first array zero index this is one index this is two index right what i need i need only zero index value right and in zero index value what i need i need name thing i do not need type i need only name cool so i'll just cancel it go back to here again add dynamic content this and here i will choose zero and i will need a dot name so i'll just extract the information or value which is present in name key okay key name i can say quickly debug it and here i have to pass the file name so i am passing here data underscore file dot csv cool okay it is running it will take just uh, 5 to 10 seconds yeah it got completed now if i just open this then you can see the value is id here right this is the variable name and this is the value of it this variable cool now i have to quickly create a if else condition i'll write here one if else condition also you can create a switch condition also it is up to you what uh, what uh, activity you are going to use it so i'll just you know connect this and in the if condition like not if condition like ha uh, yeah if in, in this if condition what i'll do i'll write here at equals i'm checking whether whether this value okay this value is is equal to id or not if it is id it means if it is if it is id then it means that the file which i am uh, you know i am get i am i am going to consume it has some headers okay and then inside this i will create a copy activity and if i open this here in the source what you need to do you need to again choose this delimiter wala thing and here also i will choose the same thing 
cool or if you want to change it then we can change it actually okay just try to put put this into a csv no no, mm. no let's try to put it in the same thing and in the container okay if i go to the source section now i have to choose again you know what is my source even though you know we can copy the same thing uh, from the get metadata activity but you know as of now i'm just writing it down you can you can enhance it uh, right and then in the folder i'll just write here data and this is something which i need to pass it from the parameter cool okay okay and now this is true and in the sync section i'll have to write here sync i'm sorry in the sync yeah container name is sync folder name is let's say data only and file name will be the same will be the same i'll just add the same file name over here also so go to parameters and choose this file name like if you are thinking like if you are not getting all this stuff then ideally you should first watch out my previous videos where i can sh i i shown you how we can you know parameterize the uh, data sets link service pipelines and all then you might have understood this properly okay then cool now if it is headers like you know if it is matching condition then i'll i i, I will try to you know run this copy activity otherwise otherwise i will try to run this copy activity if it is not matching it means if it if it if it doesn't have the uh, parameters sorry if it doesn't have the headers so see we are doing the same thing right over here only also i'm just passing the same thing okay because we we are not gonna you know create a multiple data sets like we are creating one data set only and with the help of that i am just you know referring uh, this these th this data set into the multiple locations like you know we we used to do in python like or java we create a function and we you know pass it in different different places with different values so same thing also happening in this adf also so this is source folder name is data and file name is let's say not file name is from the parameter i will pass it as runtime cool now see this is the copy activity where i am saying that the headers does not exist right and in the source thing if i open the source you can see the first row as header is mentioned then what will happen if i run this then first row suppose the data is present in the first row also it will act as a column which is not correct right so i make this first row as header first row as header dynamic cool so i'll quickly go to this parameter option and i add here some one more parameter header and the value will be boolean so i'll just choose here bool okay go back to here and you know, go to this add dynamic content and go to header cool now it seems correct now seems correct now this is false activity right you can see this is false activity here i do not need to pass the headers right so i will put it as false i'm i'm not sure whether i need to put f capital i guess f capital only will will see it later okay if it fails and and in in the two section you know if if this goes to the two uh, two thing then i need to pass this as as true right and sync also we need to do the same thing true and quickly go back to here go to the second thing false activity here also in the sync section sync uh, sync section i need to pass the value as false now if i go to my get metadata activity active uh, get metadata activity then here also i believe i need to uh, pass the values so here the header would be should be true cool and just quickly run this we'll see the magic now first i am passing the file which is having the headers
okay so uh, what i'll do i'll just quickly refresh this okay it is running and what i'll do i'll just stop this video for some time and then i'll let you know once it is finished okay now if you can see it ran properly and if i just open this copy data uh, one okay then uh, if i just you know go to output data read this return this and so on so on okay so what it happened you can see that copy data one activity has been triggered or run right this one it goes to the two two condition because we pass the we pass the file which is having the uh, headers cool now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run this again and here i will pass the file which is not having that that is not having the headers let's see oh sorry i'll i need to run it uh, debug it again i pass the uh, wrong name so just cancel it again and to do, do okay debug it again so just write here data data underscore file underscore one dot csv cool now quickly run this and if i go to here also containers you can see this sync container we have this data option uh, data folder right now you can see we have this file so if i just quickly open this and try to uh, do this edit or the option then you can see we have the data like this right the same thing we copied cool so it is also running now you can see this copy data to activity has been triggered or run so it means that since you no know, since i i triggered uh, i chosen the file which is not having the headers right so if i ju just quickly go back to my so uh, this sync container and you know if i just try to run uh, refresh it now you can see we have this file also so just quickly open this and go to edit option now you can see we have data like this cool so see it is quite simple only see i also do not know everything right so i'm also learning it or you know i know the basic stuff i have an idea if if you give me some problem statement i can able to solve it easily because i know which activity should be used where or, or you know or for what so that's why i'm saying do not run for the you know very uh, big use case very big projects and, and other, other stuff clear your basic if you know the basics you can solve any problem but if you do not know the basic you will just you know uh, go here there and uh, i mean you cannot do your work so at least fo just focus on your basic and then everything will be done very easily or very you know very quickly i hope you have understood the video if you do like share with your friends and uh, please do message me over the linkedin or over telegram you can also book a session on top mate if you you know if you want to connect with me or having some issues or you know i'm quickly i'm maybe in next month or in this month only i will be gonna you know launch my course uh that 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 will be kind of end to end and uh, and and end to end data engineering project i will be solving there and i will be you know using a adf over there adf and database python sql pyspark maybe i will i will use also logic app also over there and data warehouse concepts also so please be tuned and uh, yeah thank you bye bye take care